in a world where everyone is looking for your money up front, doesn't it just make sense to check out a podcast that's looking to give you something for free? Like the music for your content and free music for your film and videos? Look no further. It's the Tim Kulig Free Music Podcast. Welcome back, everybody, to the Tim Kulig Free Music Podcast. I'm your host, Tim Kulig. This week, we're going to change it up a little bit. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying that a lot lately because, man, it's um, there's a lot of cool stuff going on, not just in my head, but in production and in what I want to do and share with this podcast. And this week, this Tuesday, I'm dropping one of my first kind of like internet comedy albums. I, I entitled it Comedic Flirtations, and it's got eight tracks on it that I think resonate in that genre and in that space. I think they'd be good for for content creators and online use and everything. So with that, I'm going to play entire songs in some cases and then drop in some quick hits of bits and pieces of some of the other ones. But there's ones that I made that resonated with me particularly loudly and one of the first one being butterflies in me belly. This one was a lot of fun to make. It actually started off as this little piece in the beginning of the song and expanded into everything else that you hear. So that's kind of my style and my the way I write sometimes. Sometimes I can sit down and write 90% of a song in one sitting. But there's other times when I do kind of spitballing, getting an idea of what I want up front or just just like idea generation days that they really don't go anywhere. They kind of sit on my hard drive for a little while. And this is one of those. This is one of those that sat for like two or three months with that little piece. And I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't hear anything. So I, maybe two weeks ago, I put it up and listened to the beginning. And then I had to leave the room for a reason. And as I left the room and I was doing something else, I started to hear other parts. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess it's time to write this. So with that, I give you Butterflies in Me Belly from Comedic Flirtations.
Man, that one really resonates with me. It's so much fun. I had no idea that I was going to start building it with this bounciness and um, literally just fun, floaty, kind of chasing thing going on with the different instruments. You know, they go up and down and they just kind of, it totally feels like, you know, flights of butterflies just like, lee, like floating around and chasing each other around. And there's a little like ominous feel to it. Um, you know, you get butterflies in your stomach. Sometimes it's from nerves. Sometimes that's excitement. Sometimes it's nervousness or anticipation, uh, apprehensive anticipation, just really cool stuff. Well, I've got a couple more that I just want to do like a rapid fire on. Um, let's see, the order I'm going to have here is the first snippet you're going to hear is bunnies being bunnies. And then here come the clowns. And then I'll finish it off with happiness pie. So check these out. Happiness Pie, uh, ending on that one. That one feels like it would be great in some videos that are self-reflective or kind of like a montage of positive reinforcement statements and stuff. I find myself gravitating towards those on TikTok or Reels or YouTube Shorts, especially on days when I'm composing and not totally into the creative process. Sometimes you just need a little kick in the butt to make things happen. This next one, I'm playing the full one for uh, Mousy McMouskowitz. Uh, this is a <laughs> this is a cute one that I really enjoy. Feels like something that could be in a little kids cartoon or something very comical online. So check it out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here's another one in a similar vein, the Fantastical Ferret. I just wanted to name him something like that would resonate and people would be like, oh yeah, yeah, that, that fantastical, use the Fantastical Ferret tune or use the Mousy McMouskowitz. You know, they're, they're terms that aren't so benign that you're just like, oh, like, you know, thunderous clapping or, 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 you know, Vedic meditations or whatever. It's actually a name of one of my songs. But, I mean, it serves its purpose, but I wanted something, especially with the comedic thing, I want something that is very unique to the song. So check out The Fantastical Ferret. I snuck another one in there towards the end of Fantastical Ferret called Tiptoes and Falling. And that almost sounds like something from a carnival, the way it's kind of goes up and down the scale. But uh, 
It just fe- I felt like it was good for comedy. And last but not least, I have a tune entitled The Spooky Spectacle, one that my daughter absolutely loved and wanted me to finish and get published. So with that, I'll play the entirety of that song. It's such a fun one to put together, this this whole collection. And I think it's the beginning of a bunch of stuff in this style or this kind of genre that I want to get out there. People tend to gravitate towards them for those funny videos, again, or kid stuff, you know, comedic stuff, light and funny. Definitely not what I'm known for. <laughs> People gravitate towards me for my dark orchestral and horror and, you know, more ambient patches or even some of my electronica. And uh, this is definitely a divergence a little bit, but I think it's a good thing because, again, I'm trying to write in so many different styles and it's really important to spend the time and just jump in and play around and have fun. I mean, really, the best things come out of you when you're having fun in the creative process. But... Again, I'd like to thank everybody for coming back and checking it out, checking out this week's album preview, which I've never done before, but I probably will do this going forward as a way to give people an idea of what's coming out, what's coming up, little sneak peeks, snippets. Hopefully I picked the tracks that will resonate. I probably haven't, though, because I never know what people like, and you never do in, in creative endeavors. You never know what people, what's going to resonate with people. So... I appreciate all of you for checking in and coming back to the Tim Kulik Free Music Podcast, and we'll look to see you soon. 